Sprint to the bottom. Do we go that way? No. Nope. They go to Bonte off on the Wildcat look, and Bonte's got the first down. He's got the size, and he's got the first down, and maybe a first down. And the ball's free at the end of the play, and Groveport has the football. Bonte had the ball stripped and taken away at the end of the play by Tice Harris. And let's see what happens to the football. They pick him up. Let's see here. No whistle. Yep, they stripped There's him. There's the strip. Yeah. Kearns the quarterback with three wide to the bottom, one to the top. Pierce to his left, looking long across the middle. Pass. Is that caught? What a play. There were arms all over the place, and still a nice catch by Cody Wilson. Two wide to the top, same to the bottom. Kearns on a fourth and four slant. Pass. Touchdown. It's caught for the score for Groveport Madison. It is Jalen Chaney who makes the catch. Uh, that's the first score of the 2017 season for the Groveport Cruisers, and that was great execution. Jalen Chaney. Another young football player, just a junior, came right over the middle, and then that creates the lanes to be able to throw the quick uh, passes like they've had success on. Second and, there and again. six, there's the slant pattern. Again, same guy, same result on the second and six. They find Jalen Cheney for a second touchdown in just a couple of minutes. First and 10 from the 11. That's Crayley in motion. Bonte to keep it inside the 10, inside the five, pushes the pile to the three, to the two, near the one yard line. That's Crayley in motion again. Bonte again off the right-hand side, finds a gap, he'll take it in for the touchdown with 10-19 left to go. Making the blocks that are necessary. Good lead block also by Colton Lytle. Kearns and company first and 10 from near the 37. That is Blackshear off the right side wow. and a nice hole. And boy, he just rumbles and rumbles across midfield all the way down to the 45-yard line. You know, this fortress facility down here is built around all of the rail transportation and everything else. This is a runaway locomotive, folks. That's Aikens in stride. Watch the speed to the outside and watch the play by Crayley. Tristan said, not on my watch, knocked him down back at the 31-yard line. Pressure immediately. It's a middle screen. It's caught at the 35, the 40, up to the 44-yard line. Ball's and then the loose. ball's loose at the end of the play. Let's see if they mark him down or not. First of all, the ball went up in the air and was tipped. No call by the officials Still yet. waiting. And Hamilton Township has the ball. Ball tipped a miraculous catch there. They nearly had it intercepted at the beginning. But there's the strip. The ball pops out. And there's the recovery by Christopher Green. That's Crayley. Driston is going to get it down to around the 12, and the ball's free. Scooped up on the play, up across the 20-yard line. Cruisers have it. Tice Harris coming up with a big play, but we'll see. What do the Cruisers opt to do? How conservative are they? Oh, look at this. They oh! want to throw it. Picked off on the play. Picked off by the Rangers. A chance to take it back the other way inside the 10-yard line, down to the 5. Pass picked off on the play for Hamilton Township by Trent Salters, and he has set them up in at least field goal position. I think they were shocked to see the ball in the air. There's the delivery, slant play. He never saw him. Bonte and company. Bonte up the middle. Eric off the right side, trying to get away. Near the goal line, breaks the play. Touchdown. 15 seconds left to go. Bonte celebrates. The backup quarterback, Eric Bonte, the senior, 6'2", 207. They call him a game breaker. He's a game winner.